Hey, welcome back viewers. <clears throat> a little bit of a blustery winter day here at the mill. <clears throat> we end up getting, oh, not quite six inches of fresh powder on top of our roughly two feet. Kind of already filmed a little bit of my stone removal out front. Let's take a and uh, go over some of the tools we'll be using. First of all, I, I've got a picture I'll post of the project we're going to be working on. This is kind of a rough plan of the materials I'm going to be using and the lengths that I'm going to be needing. So we're going to be making some decorative corbels out of some five and an eighth inch glue lambs, which are oh, some of them. 21, 15 and a half, 18, 12. So what these are going to be, they're going to be some decorative corbels. We're going to get them cut to length. We're going to dowel them together, top and bottom, with some inch and a quarter dowels. I'm just going to chop saw them up on the chop saw, 12 inch DeWalt. We'll cut those into roughly four, four and a half inch length and bury half in each end of the glue lamb. So framing square, two foot framing square, square all our stuff up, mark it with the Sola. This is a super awesome contractor slash well it's a carpenter's pencil but mechanical for getting in tight spots has a sharpener on the end we'll be using that to make our marks drill bits inch and a quarter we're going to be using a 7 8 auger bit to be drilling some holes through the material end to end. Um, once I have my decorative edge scrolled on the product, I will half inch, use half inch all thread to keep stuff securely fashion, fastened for uh, the life of the material. This is gonna be structural stuff that's gonna hold up a roof line down in Utah County. A couple different extensions. We're gonna use that to Pull out our ends, countersink. Makita 16 inch worm drive beam saw, skill saw, Sasquatch chainsaw. We will put a nice factory square end on one end that will be going against the structure. We'll just do a rough cut with this saw because the decorative end will be recut after we get everything put together. I'll use my whole hog to do my bigger drilling. Uh, Milwaukee cordless for my smaller holes. We'll use Milwaukee Impact to fasten some timber locks down to the plywood deck uh, cut table so we can have a sturdy surface to work off of. Um, always have my blower on site. And this is a 12 inch speed square. We'll be using my ACE sharpshooter to remove ice and debris off the material so we get good, clean, accurate cuts, keeping the tables flat on the surface. So let's uh, get this, I'll get this tripod set up and take a second to uh, get some material ready to cut and I'll start filming. I forgot to mention a couple of tools. <clears throat> uh, battery, DeWalt, FlexVolt. I like to make uh, my initial cut with that at depth, just, just around two and three quarters depth Then I chase that cut with the beam saw. Um, we'll use just a broken 
push broom end to brush off wood and my Ryobi. Um, the blowers are a must at the sawmill. <clears throat> Keep everything clear of, clear of debris and, and jam ups. Um, this gas powered blower is a must. It blows a lot of wood at the mill. Uh, oh, I didn't mean for that to sound maybe the way it sounded. My bad. Uh, I use just regular bar oil in the Sasquatch. That lubes the bar and chain, protective cover around it, quite well. Let's get back at it.